I would like to say good morning actually and good morning to everybody out there. My name is Steph Winterboer. Today we have jean andre on the camera and it has been a long, long time since I've been able to do a walk <coughs> here at Juma. I've been in Kenya for a little bit setting up our camp up there and um, have arrived back just yesterday and I couldn't wait to get out here today. And just to hear that Tristan has been sitting with those Ahina cubs and Taylor's been with the giraffe early this morning and for myself just waking up to the sound of Crested Franklin, one of my most favorite of the bird calls out here. It was just such a privilege today. Now we've got this beautiful sunrise. This is one of those lovely mornings in May that we really, really, really enjoy, at least myself. I really enjoy two periods of a year, January for the sheer diversity of life and May because the bush just seems to be calming down after a very intense growth period. And I don't know if you'll cast your minds back if you could remember, for those of you who've been watching the show for a while at least anyway, how we were battling to get through the bush in January, well, a little bit after that, probably about February, March, how thick and robust the bush was. Now, we're going to start seeing the bush calming down, the grasses all dropped their seeds, they'll start to lie flat, the water pans are drying up, and the animals are, start, are going to start concentrating again into the dry season around all the water points. And as those water points get fewer and fewer, the animal concentrations around the last remaining drops of water get more and more and so we start seeing that build up of large mammal species and massive concentrations of animals again. In particular the Juma pan which of course as you would know becomes such a central part of the game viewing and the game viewing activities around Juma Private Game Reserve here as we move towards October. So just really just a nice time of year. It's go through here. One of the things that I like to see is these last season flowers. Now this is a Senna, Senna petisii, one of the last of the flowering plants at the end of the summer and quite often if you are very careful the home to a number of insects, both predator and prey, and I'm hoping to find something on one of these flowering plants here that we can have a look at this morning. Might be a little bit early for them, nevertheless. So what is the plan for today? <clears throat> I'm actually just going to walk around and get myself plugged back into the bush and in so doing hopefully uncover some things for you as well. So without further ado, I'm going to make myself off or take myself off of this open area in a southerly direction and carry on wandering. We'll catch up with you in a little bit. Off you go to one of my colleagues. <laughs> 